Hi everybody, this is uh, Jerry here, and uh, today we're going to do a quick rundown on uh, stuff that I throw into my surf bag. Um, we're going to go through about uh, six lures that I like to use on the surf uh, that you should carry around. Uh, I like to keep two sets, a dark and a light set. Uh, dark set for night, light set for day. Over here, uh, we're going to start off with our, our diamond jigs. Uh, we got uh, green, red tubes, tube tails. They're easily interchangeable. I got yellow, black, or whatever. Uh, you can carry around uh, about four of these. I like to carry two A17s, two A27s, just in case you lose one. You got a backup and uh, extra tails. Sometimes the fish seem to keen in on a certain color so uh, that's what I like to uh, bring some extra tubes with me. But these things are great. Uh, you work them through the column of water um, low, deep, uh, fast, high, uh, low, slow. You know, get a really good wiggle on that tail in the back there when you're working it. But uh, they're, they're fantastic lures. I always talk to uh, Gregory about them. Even some of the greats over there on the beach. Uh, uh, number one go-to lure for a lot of people. Um, I would not leap home without one of these. Uh, but uh, the diamond jig is probably uh, the most versatile surf fishing lure in the Northeast uh, ever created, I think. Um, Number one lure, if you had to carry, this would be it, uh, and that's that. You can work it high and fast, you can work it low and slow, or you can work it in the middle. But uh, they're really great stuff. Second favorite lure is uh, your... Uh, uh, poppers over here. Um, I got uh, this one here. Is, uh, I guess they call that a squid color. It's actually a pink yellow bottom. Um, uh, yellow is fantastic, um, but I, I really love the yellow and pink color. The blue fish uh, really key in on that yellow, so that's what I like to work with. And of course, uh, we're going to be working with our darker colors at night in the evening um, uh, has to do with the hue of the colors um, and uh, if you would hold your your lore up in the air uh, in the evening you'll actually see that darker color better than the lighter color just so uh, if you keep your your lore on the tip of your rod tip hold it up in the air look up in the sky that's kind of like what the fish see when they're looking up on the surface, so the darker color is just more visible, but the lighter color is great. But uh, these are worked, uh, you know, with a quick pop in action. And, uh, really good stuff. Um, a little bit weighted in the back there. Um, these are, uh, I buy them from a guy in Massachusetts. I like to use uh, uh, not so much custom stuff, but I like to use uh, vocal stuff. Now this is a regular, um, I like this. This is a sinking popper. Um, I, wanna, I would throw this in between a uh, regular popper. These will actually drop um, when you cast them and you can work them like a regular, almost like a swimmer. When you bring them in quick and fast, they'll come up and you have that pop in action. So, uh, they'll sink, you retrieve them, they'll come up and, uh, you know, pop. So, they, they, they work really good. This is your regular popper here. Okay, so, but uh, the day they work on the top, then this one also. This will actually sink a little, come up, sink a little, come up, and uh, what we got going on here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. But, uh, so, I like to carry those, uh, at least a sinking and a floating uh, popper with me. You know, it's uh, really, really good stuff. 
can't go wrong. Dark color at night, light color in the day. Uh, universal color is always green and white. And the number one misrepresented color in the world is olive. That's what I, I think. Olive is number one color. Uh, thirdly, I really keyed in on these. Uh, these are the, believe it or not, the Deo SP minnows. I was using bombers uh, most of my life, and uh, Rappel is actually in freshwater application. But the Deo SP minnow, they cast uh, fantastic. Um, they're very uh, light low. I think they're about an ounce and a half or something like that, two ounces. They got a floating and a sinking model. Again, I like the dark color for the evening and then uh, the lighter color for the day. But uh, they really, um, they cast like rockets. They got a great action. They got uh, weight in there that, that rattles and draws a lot of attention. It's a very good, uh, when the fishing is slow, this would be probably number one lure to use uh, to stir up some bites. Now my funnest, favorite is lure is probably the fish or uh, the needlefish. Um, again, we got our light color, uh, our bright yellow for the day, and our dark uh, black uh, for the evening. Ironically though, I, I love to work the black uh, needlefish. Uh, day and night. It's, it seems to be very effective, uh, that color. These you kind of cast out, work it low, slow, and just, you can almost let it sit there in the wake and uh, kind of crank it in. What I try to do is I try to keep a little uh, slack in the line and uh, you'll just kind of feel that fish hit and you really got to nail in you know what I mean? When they strike, you really have to hit them home. But uh, these are fantastic. Uh, I love these are just fun lures to use. I think because uh, you you get a light tap and you have to you know set that hook home. Um, and uh, like I use uh, local um, local uh, providers and whatnot. But these are like you know general wooden needle fish. I uh, think probably a little bit of lead weight there so they sink a little. And here we have our bucktails of course. Um, you always want to carry around a couple of these. Um, two weights I would definitely carry one ounce and one and a half ounce. Um, Really, I don't think the colors matter much. Um, you could throw the tails on there. If the water is running fast, high, and whatnot, I throw a two and a half ounce. Two, I'll bring with me. If I look at the wind, um, full moon, uh, new moon, um, the two and a half ounce bucktail is very ideal to throw. Uh, but uh, very, you know, here and there, very rarely. You can throw all kinds of trailers, your favorite kind of stuff on the back of them. Um, Uncle Josh uh, felt pork and whatnot, but uh, but uh, the bigger bucktails are good to throw in very windy, um, high water, uh, ripping current conditions. Uh, otherwise, I would go for one ounce, one and a half ounce, and this is a two and a half ounce bucktail. I like the the bigger ones. I like the buck, uh, the Popeyes. Uh, smaller ones, I like the Sprowheads. Um, but uh, they, they'll all do the trick. So, fantastic stuff. Finally, we have here our uh, bottle daughters. Uh, I like to call them stupid face poppers because they got a funny looking face on them. And uh, these you great in working in heavy current and uh, they kind of have a really big wiggle to them. I like to look at them almost like giant crankbaits that you would use for a largemouth bass fishing. Uh, the yellow color in the day, again the dark color at night. If there's anything you get out of this video is uh, I like light colors in the day, dark colors at night. If you ever hold your lure up to the sky you can see that dark color at night better and the light color better at day. Now here's something that I'll carry or throw in my bag and whatnot. These here are pencil poppers. I see a lot of guys working them in the surf. I gotta have some good dexterity with them. 
not my favorite lure, but a lot of guys uh, like how these work. Um, I've caught plenty of fish on them. Not my go-to, but don't rule them out. That's your, you know, regular popper. Very easy, slow to work. Pencil popper. A little more energy. Or you could also work them slow on top and whatnot. They're a nice little crawl at night. Uh, great, great lure for bass. Uh, a slash in motion. Really great for blues. And uh, you should, you know, pack a few of these in your bag if uh, just to change things up. Sometimes officials strike these more often because they want a more subtle or more slap in action. And uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, we'll see you next time out on the water.